This week I learned how sleep loss affects your brain and learning, which I think is very relevant to lots of people because a lot of us are not getting enough sleep. We're always feeling tired. There's a lot of professions that require people to have very short hours of sleep. Um, And basically sleep loss hijacks your brain, especially when associated to learning. But more importantly, what this specific study was looking at was how it impacts your brain's ability to unlearn fear-related memories. Let me clarify. So when we sleep, our brain does a lot of consolidating of memories and dealing with, you know, obviously we don't know all that much about what happens while you're sleeping, but they, we believe it plays a crucial role in minimizing stressful or traumatic experiences. So when you don't huh. sleep well enough, they, the, the study in particular that I'm talking about was they, they, put people into different groups. So some people were getting the normal, say like eight hours of sleep. Some people were getting half that amount of sleep. And then they put them through stressful experiences and associate colors with like bad memories of pain. They, they would literally like, I think, shock them with associations with <laughs> I color. I love how science is like, like yeah. it's part of the experiment, we're gonna shock you. <laughs> yeah. But they found that those who were sleeping half as much were at a higher risk of anxiety and PTSD when those things came back into their lives when they were awake. And so huh. they believe that that plays a crucial role in anxiety and PTSD for people. Sleep obviously affects our cognitive abilities, our abilities to learn, but ultimately our ability to unlearn, which our brain does in the night, which I thought wow, was pretty cool. Wow, that's interesting. So yeah. wait, so like simplifying it, it makes your fear, the memories you had of fear worse. And then also if something happens to you that you're scared of, does it make that worse? Yeah, so basically, okay, the people who were given half the amount of sleep in the study showed the most activity in the brain regions associated with fear and the least activity in the areas associated with control of their emotions. Huh, yeah, that makes total sense. Right, yeah, and it, obviously anecdotally, when you're tired, you're you're more unhinged in a sense, you're more able to go oh, off the God. handle, things bother you. I but... body slam a stranger <laughs> when I'm tired. But on, on a deeper level, when it comes to deep fears and PTSD and anxiety that are rooted and not just like that daily emotional uh, feeling and tiredness. Uh, th- they think this has a important implication for people when they go through stressful and traumatic experiences. Mm. Like sleep can play a really important role in mm. recovery. Wow. Okay. True. Sleep is good. <laughs> <laughs> you became uh, Michael Barbaro. You're like, hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My, my, my Michael Barbaro impression. Hmm. <laughs> Ah uh, no 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 it's not uh, actually it's only oh, yeah, he goes uh-huh. mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. but like lately he's been going mm. <laughs> no it's not 